Uh, I thought, you know, I'd quite like to give it a go. I was worried about looking stupid, all of those things. But I sort of thought, you know, I'll just give it a go the next day. And so I got up really early, cycled down to a beautiful part of the river and jumped in a rowing boat with them. Was I good immediately? Absolutely not. Who is? But I fell in love with the sport. I absolutely loved the whole environment, being on the river, you know, those early mornings, the mist on the river and the camaraderie of being in a team that you can't opt out of. At school, I'd sort of stood on a hockey pitch and opted out. Uh, I'd run away from the ball. But once you're in a rowing boat, you, you can't get out. It's really difficult. So you then start to opt in. And that gave me this incredible team experience, you know, all the while in a very natural environment on the river. So I just loved it. Did I have any aspirations to be go to the Olympics or to do anything? No, I just loved it. I loved the camaraderie and I fell in love with this sport. And only sort of over some some years, by the time I, I left university, some coaches said to me, you know, you have the potential uh, to, to maybe get into the British team, maybe go to the Olympics. And at that point, I thought, OK, I've got to give it a go. But the language and the whole world suddenly shifted at that point. Once I sort of started to say, OK, I'm going to go on this path, I'm going to go to some national trials. I started to encounter coaches from the Olympic world. They started giving me really different messages. They said, you've got to be serious now. Don't expect to have fun. You're not going to have any fun till you get to the top stage of the podium. This is going to be all about who's toughest. And do you have the will to win? I thought, my God, I'm not sure if I have the will to win. How do I know? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I had massive imposter syndrome already. Uh, you know, they're thinking to people around me, if they've got more will to win, how do I develop that? Is it something you're born with? And so the first years of sport for me at the Olympic level was sort of tied up around this very macho narrative about winning is, you know, the only thing that counts that if you lose, you should be really miserable and show everyone how much you hate losing uh, because that's what winners do. And I was really caught up with trying to learn this different way of thinking. And all the time I was trying to learn this way of thinking, I wasn't getting any faster. I wasn't fulfilling my potential. I was trying to live out these kind of values and principles of who's the toughest, who's the last woman standing, who's really miserable and they lose. But I actually wasn't focusing on the things that would have made my boat 